I thought I'd show you today how I color lines in schematics and wiring diagrams and anything else you want to do actually I just picked on a radio doesn't matter which one happens to be an admiral so I'll bring up this PDF that I got from Nostalgia Air and let's go to the diagram that's usually the only thing I'm interested in or the main thing I'm interested in let's rotate that and the next step is to make this as large on the screen as possible okay, and that might be it yeah that's that's big enough so now I'm going to hit print key which does a screen capture and now when we go to Photoshop elements I can go under file here under new image from clipboard and there it is okay let me lower this just a little bit we don't need this anymore so I'm going to close it all right let's see now I also set this up for YouTube so let's crop this thing it's at uh, 1920 and 1080 at 600 resolution okay so I need to get the antenna and the speaker in here okay that looks pretty good I'm gonna use the arrow key to move it over a little bit and I'm gonna move it up a little bit over a little bit more maybe yeah that's good all right now we got our diagram it looks like it's a little bit crooked so I'm going to use the straightening tool or the level here and I, I'll use this as my straight line here and I'll bring that down on this one right here let go and there we go not straight my next step is I need a new level okay and it always builds levels above where you were at now we're on layer two I call them levels but they're layer twos same thing to me and let's I'm going to click on that and bring it down so it is below okay now notice that there's uh, some checkering up here and let me turn off the the top layer here there's nothing in layer two right now so and I'm still on layer two so I'm going to fill that with 100% white there we go it's already set up and notice that that little checkering at the top here and the bottom has gone because oops hit the wrong one we have a completely white background 
Okay, now it's important to, I want to erase this stuff at the top and the bottom and on, on the sides. But I got to be on the right layer. So let's go back to layer one here. And I'll hit the erase key, uh, eraser key. And here I'm clicking on the keyboard on the right square bracket that makes that tool larger and there's other ways of doing that but that's a neat shortcut way of doing it okay so I'm erasing all the stuff I don't want and that's a little hard to do there so I'll leave that for a little later Oops go a little bit and quickly erase all this stuff here and over on the right get rid of that okay almost got it I'm gonna use the navigation tool here and move it around so I can do some more erasing and make the tool a little smaller. That's the left square bracket. That looks good. Let's go on this side here and do the same thing. Okay, here I gotta be a little more careful but it's still very easy and if you make a mistake the undo button is your friend control Z go. and if I keep doing control Z it'll bring back what I've already erased and I'll just keep going I think I can do that up to about 50 times okay now we got what we want I'm gonna click on the pointer that way I can move things around let's see here let's say that I want to color the antenna coil or the antenna which is iron core and the wire the lead that goes into the grid and the grid also I want to make that red okay let's increase this again it just makes it much easier there we go and I'm just scrolling down here. I want that up just a little bit more. There we go. Okay, right here. And this, I want that red. Okay, we come over here to bring that up. Rectangle tool. And all I have to do is click and pull down when I got enough in there. Okay, I missed a little bitty spot there. All I have to do is hit shift and notice the positive there. Okay, and added that in. And I'll hit shift again. And I'll bring that in. And I just made it there. But uh, let's make sure I made it. There we go. Now, shift again. And there we go. Might have gone a little too far, but that's all right. Let's see. And let's see. I'll, I'll put the 
ball in there. But we got a little bit of the two in there, but we'll get that later. Okay, so far that looks what I want. Okay. Now we're on layer one. And that's where the drawing is. My next step is I go to layers here under new layer via copy and look what happens on the right when I do that we get a new layer 3 now it doesn't look like anything happened but let me turn off layer 1 that's all that's left that's all that's there. And I've, if I turn off layer 2, <clears throat> we don't have a background, a white background. Okay, so this is what we've got on layer 3. So now on layer 3, it's still lit. I'm going to go under levels here. And I'm going to choose red. And if you slide that over, you'll notice that everything's turning red. Okay, so we have to go back up here to the right. Hit the Alt key. And notice that one now, when I click on it, in between the two, the layer moved over. That means that it is now only connected to layer three. So now when I turn this, pull that over, we have lit up the antenna and the grid of that tube. Let me close this. Now I'm going to go back to the erase key because, and I'm going to make that tool just a little smaller. There we go. And we can come down here and get rid of that. And now oh, there's a little smudge there and that's gone. And erase any mistakes. Like down at the bottom wire there, I'll just erase that too. Now what I do, let's see the whole picture here. Uh, fit the screen. What I do is I can turn these off after I make all of them and get the colors that I want. And like right now, uh, if I wanted to put this in the video, I would uh, do a save as JPEG on this. And of course you have to call it by a unique name. And then I would turn on what I want. And I would make another save JPEG with this. And then I combine them together in the video. Okay, let's do an object, which is real easy to do. I'm going to do this oscillator coil down here. But I'm going to first go back to the drawing, which is on uh, layer one. Okay. Now all I have to do is Grab it. Make sure I got everything I want. And again, go up to layer. Whoops, new. <clears throat> via copy. And again, it doesn't look like anything happened. But we've got, let me turn that off. Here we go. Layer 
layer 4 is the coil. Okay. So, same thing. To color it, we go up here to level. And again, I've got to make sure it's only on layer 4. So I do the Alt key and click. Okay, now I go up here and choose green. And now we'll make that coil green. I think this is a real effective way to demonstrate circuits and many other things really. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.